You faced Koga in the depths. Hmm. What's the leader of the Jaeger clan up to down there? From what I know, the Jaeger clan is a super dangerous group that schemes against the kingdom of Hyrule. And Koga has had it out for you and Princess Zelda for a long time. He'd do anything to put an end to your lives. Despite everything we're looking into already, I just can't take my eye to just can't take you all right off this threat. Uh -huh. Besides, Kogo could know what's happened to the princess. That would make a lot of sense. <clears throat> if you do go after him, keep in mind that I'll be continuing my research on the depths from right here. Uh -huh. Oh, and by the way, do you know about the Forest of Time in South Hyrule Field? There's a chasm there, and it's gone reports of another series of structures found right at the bottom of it. There's a str the, these statues are different from the ones you uh, showed me using your camera. These seem to point the way somewhere too, and uh, and do come near where you go. Oh, <clears throat> and do come near where you got your auto build ability. But they don't stop there. These statues lead further southwest into the depths. Hmm. Where they go is anyone's guess. But I bet the destination is far beyond that building. The destination far beyond that building is worth seeing. I'll keep gathering info about the on what's in the depths. So be sure to stop by and check with me sometime, okay? Cool. Oh, so that's why I know this is the pose statue, because it says pose. Right. You who stands before me here. I am one who returns pose to the afterlife where they belong. Offer pose. They are spirits that ought to return to the afterlife. Pose? Pose are pitiful beings who have lost their way home and wander the depths of this land. Good, evil, that's the futile perspective of narrow-minded beings. There is no such definition in wandering spirits. You have already obtained pose. Here's a pose for you. Yes, so oh, this is indeed a pole. I have returned the lost spirit to the left of life where it belongs. Since I was brought here to the surface, I have been unable to return pose to the afterlife. Because of you, I can assist them once again. You should take this. Ooh, I get dark clumps for helping the pose. Nice. If you offer me more pose, I will give you suitable compensation. He's a shop! Oh, okay. Bomb flowers! Well, he is our new friend. Okay, how much for all of them? Um. Oh. Five. Okay, fine. I will take the five posts. Uh, the five bomb flowers. Cool. Right, let's go and wrap up this sub story as well. Wait, why does that say it's a cave? Oh, the hidden pass. Ah, oh, the hidden passage is a cave. Balls. I broke this wall. <laughs> what? You went inside the hole? Did you find the demon? Is, is this goodbye for me? Mm -hmm. Wait, a demon? Statue was in there? I know a bit about those. I want to know more. Of course. Yeah. Dealer in life and power touched by the wrath of the goddess fall into ruin. And that must mean the, horror, the horned statue is the entity who deals with life and power. Which would make the dais, uh, make the dais the place where it was enshrined back when it was still a god. Mm. So that voice I heard was the fallen horn statue. It's uh, as there is the goddess of light, then it follows that she would have an opposite, the horned god. Light and dark, one cannot exist without the other. Their power manifests through the other's existence. Ah. Knocking a hole in the wall, that was fate, no doubt about it. I can go in there. I can't go in there, but I'll keep this area spick and span. And I'll be sure to greet the horn statue from here too. Oh, and thanks, you know. Take this. Cool. 20 rupees. I'll take it. <laughs> it's Robbie's spending allowance for the next month, but now it's your spending allowance. Thanks for clearing this whole thing up for me. Right. 
time to settle the old nerves and get back to work. Cool. Um, no, that's another sub story done. I won't wrap the secret passage up just yet because I don't have enough bomb arrows to basically explore it. So it's a shame because I've got many things I need to do. I really appreciate you fixing up the balloon. Ultra, thanks. That auto bill thing is pretty down amazing. Hmm. I should have a good think about about all the practical uses for it someday. Oh, that reminds me. Hey, you, listen up. Now that Joshua has solved the mystery of the estate, I can return to the Pura Bird Laboratory in Hanato Village. Hateno Village, even. If you'll, you'll go there, I can make even more improvements on the Pura Pad, starting with the Sansa. You'll find the lab in East Nakluda, or off in the southeast corner of Hyrule, on its far side of Hateno Village. Go for a bit there, and then you'll see a mighty peculiar place. Don't let the looks of it fool you. It's a cutting edge lab. Alright. I'm gonna head over there. I'll be waiting for you to arrive. See you in a Tino village. Don't keep me waiting. I suppose we're probably going to have to work on getting our way to Tino. So I think the Zora, Zora village might be our next destination. Right, that's Robbie off. Okay. Blimey, so... We need to get to Hitino at some point. Not only that, we need to get to Kakaraku at some point. Central Princess sightings. Uh... So, I need to continue with that one. Beast and the Princess, I need to continue with that one. Master Koga of the Yiga Clan, I need to continue with that one. Legacy of the Rito, I need some diamonds, so I can't do that yet. Where are the wells? Oh, I need to find that woman about the wells. She's somewhere around here, I think. Is that her? Probably. Might be a dude, actually. Um. You're a Gorhart, and you should know your way to Goron City. Oh, in the name of Hilly, did you forget? They are fighting a baron and embarrassing of as this. Stives, not that I forgot. When I left the city, there was still lava everywhere. Not to know Death Mountain would stop erupting. No Death Mountain would stop erupting. The lava would cool and new roads would form. Mm. You don't have to tell me there was lava everywhere. I used to be, it used to be so hot that Hillians couldn't step foot on the mountain without fire resistant gear. If I wanted to take a trip that way, I couldn't. Well, thanks to this guy, now you can. First, we have to walk down. Well, first, we have to walk down the road toward Death Mountain, which you can see over the northeast. Then we'll arrive at Woodland Stable, and from there we keep going north. Thanks again for the directions, fella. Oh, happy to be of service. Using Death Mountain as a landmark is all well and good, of course. The red haze around the summit looks worryingly like gloom. Try not to get too close. Oh. All right, let's go. And on our way, we'll stop by that bistro place you keep mentioning. No, oh, you're joking. Oh, okay then. Hmm. Oh no, what's going on over here? Oh, what? Oh, is it a woman? Or is it a man? I don't know. Oh, well. Don't tell me. Based on your stature, physique, and distinctive right arm, you must be Link. Am I right? Pharaoh has told me so much about you. I am Wordsworth, a research specialist in ancient Hurulian. Oh. And by ancient Hurulian, I mean the text found in the Ring Ruins, but something... Uh, I don't mean the thing in the Ring Ruins, but something different. It's what we call the language used at the time of Hyrule's founding. Traces of it are rare and still present in our speech today. You see the difference, I trust. Mm. The stone tablet there fell from the sky is inscribed with ancient Herulean. If I can manage to translate the text, it may be the key to understanding a moment in time of the ancient Hyrule. Oh. I can translate this from the ancient Herulean back in my notes, uh, but my notes are in the research lab in Kakariku Village. 
So I'll be heading there to check this text against my notes and proceed with the translation. I've already copied down in, in, uh, what's inscribed here, so I'll be getting back to the village. Mm. If it piques your interest, Link, you should come to Kakariku Village so I can share what I've translated so far. Ah. The inscriptions have a tremendous archaeological value. It's a bridge connecting us to the distant past. I aim to unravel the mysteries, and sooner the sooner I get started, the better. Awesome. I still have absolutely no idea where I'm going or what I'm doing. Um, I mean, we've wrapped Hebra. On that dragon here as well. Oi. Oh, it's Hetsu. Marvelous. Right, well, first things first. Kirsten, mm -hmm. where do you think the stable will be ready? Ah. Kirsten, oh, where do you think the stable will be ready? They'll be ready in a while. Mm. I need to get the last of the roof planks correctly fitted. There's only one spot to finish. Hmm. Well, until the stable is ready, I can't board any more horses. What a shame. Oh, well, that's easy to fix. <laughs> Look at it. It fits perfectly. Oh. Thanks for helping out. I was having a hard time trying to figure it out. With the roof done, all that's left is to add the finishing touches. I'll get cracking sun and done. Hey, it's the apprentice, isn't it? The one who helped build our house in the previous game. Quick and quality, blink and we're done. That's the way everyone. That's why everyone chooses Hudson Construction. Okie dokes. Feeling pumped. Gotta get this done in one fell swoop. <laughs> oh, we kept the sound effect. Marvelous. Ah. Ah. There. <laughs> well, fine looking stable. Can't say I'm surprised considering your Hudson's constructions, number one. Hmm. Yeah, thanks for the help with the little project, son. Looks good. Now we can board horses at Lookout Landing. If you need help with horses, please take to me anytime. Cool. Ah, it's still Christmas shipping, Marie. Got to say I've outdone myself this time. If you end up boarding your horses here, they'll have a luxurious time. Cool. Okay, Hetsu. Yeah. It's you! We meet again! It's been a while, huh? So this place we built recently, huh? It's got a good vibe. I figured I'd say I'm safe since there are lots of people here. There are so many monsters all over these days, so I'm going to stay here and relax for a while. Oh, oh, hang on a minute. Yeah. Seed? You do, you do. You got a Korok seed from one of the forest children. Yeah. If you give me Korok seeds, I'll expand the size of your inventory. What do you want? More room? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what a stash, what a stash. Uh, shield stash, please. Okay, I'll just need two cork seats. Here you go. Let the expansion begin! <laughs> okay, I do like the dance, I must admit. <laughs> yep, uh, weapons, sure. Insane. Utterly insane. Sure, bow stash. This may get old fairly quickly, I admit. <clears throat> I 
Uh, so you do know you could just keep your Korok buddies there at all times, rather than having them to teleport in whenever you want to dance, right? No? Okay, fine. <laughs> Weapon stash, please. Okay, I'm just going to start skipping that. We might be here for a while. <coughs> Weapon stash. Five currencies. Okay. Okay, I'm going to guess this is where he is based from now on. Weapon stash, so I'll have to expand the shield stash a couple of times as well, I think. Okay, 12 Korok seeds. Sure, here, have 12. Well, at least all of this is paying off now. We're starting to actually get ourselves some upgrades. It's just going to take us a small eternity. Shields. Just because I seem to run low on shields. Yes, please expand my shield stash. <laughs> oh, Gordon Bennett. Ting tick a tick a ta, ting tick a tick a ta, tick ta. Oh, seventeen card seeds, why not? Weapons. 25. Here you go. I wouldn't mind, but it's such a long-winded exercise in upgrading it. I would have preferred just throwing just a different style of thing. But whatever, I suppose Nintendo didn't anticipate anyone to collect 200 Korok seeds in a single go. If nothing else, at least we've managed to get ourselves a fair amount of sh shield space. 
Bows, please. Might as well. This is what we've unlocked. For three regions with all the Korok seeds of Papyrus Castle collected. Oh, we could probably finish the game with the amount of item slots that we've unlocked so far. I mean, we're not going to. We're going to basically unlock every single item slot. Because in fairness, if I'm going for all 1,000 Korok seeds, then... The 400 and something I need to unlock everything is just, yeah, the top of it, it's just the start of it. I think I've got enough shield slots for the time being, because I'm probably just going to fill it with junk anyway. Right, let's just throw the last into... Oh, well, there we go. Into another item slot. Or weapon slot, at any rate. This is going to be where Hetsu is based, evidently. So, there we go. At least we know where he is. I don't think we're going to have to worry about weapons, especially as we start gaining some more high-powered ones. Oh. There we go. Right, I must dance. Yes, you must. Uh, uh, hello? What's that? No quill tunic. Haven't I already got one of them? Yes, I do. Okay. I assume as I unlock things, then they these are right. Arrows! Yeah, 100. I'll take all of them. I'll take all the Hillian rice as well, why not? Oh, thank you, bye. Looks like our shop's expanding a bit. Uh, right, last port of call is the well. Oh, that's right, I forgot. I don't have any bomb arrows left, do I? Are there any bomb flowers down here? No. Oh. Hey, it's you! I'm fascinated by how many old wells across Hyrule. But new wells are pretty interesting too, like this one. Oh, have you come to talk? tell me about the locations of more wells you found? Yep. Ma. Thanks, so five of them this time. I'll give you ten rupees per location, so that's fifty rupees, all yours! Thanks for sharing. I'm excited to visit those wells. Let's see. How many wells left across Hyrule? Oh, I still need a total of 48... 48 find. Ah. It can be hard to find old hidden wells. Only there was some sort of tool for searching for things. Let's chat again if you find any more locations. Cool. Well, I need to come back here anyway when I've got some bomb flowers. <laughs> Right, one last job, and that is going to the Zonai dude. Reclaimer, this is the crystal refinery. I will take your crystallized charges and use them to produce energy wells. Get yeah, producing. If you produced one energy well, I will require 100 crystallized charges. Is that acceptable? Yes. Please wait. Find your crystallized charges into one energy well. 
Whoa! A small part made of crystallized charges. It increases the maximum cell uh, energy that you can have stored in your energy cells. Yay! We have one and a third energy cells now. Oh, we are going to be at this for a very long time, aren't we? I would enjoy further visits from you. Goodbye, Reclaimer. Bye. Oh, this is going to take forever. <laughs> right. I would love to live in a castle halfway into the sky. I would, uh, wouldn't have to worry about mail, bills. Nobody could visit. Just solitude. Yes. Also... I'm trying to figure out how to pronounce your name, I'm going to be honest. Um, King, King for short is good. Well, hail King and welcome. It's just a random, um, just random browsing Twitch streams. Lol. Fair enough. Thank you, sir. Ah, that's much appreciated. Um, yeah, that's all right. All right. I still have no idea where I'm going to progress. Uh, uh, oh, hold on. Oh, no. One thing I can do. I can actually no. I'm not going to mark that well as done yet because I still need to figure out what's behind that bomb bombable wall, even. But I will tell you what I am going to do. And that is save. And then we will continue this next time. There we go. And there we have it. Gordon Bennett. <laughs> Sorry, King, you've turned off at the wrong time, I'm afraid. But yeah, there we go. We finished off the Wind Temple. No more Korok Seeds unlocked. Oh no, one Korok Seed unlocked, I suppose. We've explored the depths, found two parts of the mining equipment, got a new power for our arm. No worries. Fair enough. Um, new power for our arm. We've got a third of a charge for the zone, I think. 100 crystallized charges. Well, thankfully we've unlocked the temple in, that, in the depths now. So, awesome, we can now generate a lot more crystalline charges. We just need a lot more Xenonite. So I'm going to have to basically farm Xenonite, Xeonite, in order to get the charges, in order to get the upgrades for our power cells, and then other things. Not that I can use the vehicles very much yet, because I still want the control sticks, and I won't have the control sticks until I find the gacha machines in the sky. That was a weird sentence to say. And then I can get the more control sticks and then use them to build the various vehicles that I want to use, which one of which is going to have to be a flying machine to get around all the islands in the sky of this game because the loft wings don't exist anymore. Awesome! Anyway, with that said, if you're new here, hi, I'm Edzio. It's a pleasure to meet you. If you enjoyed what you saw, well, I'd really pre appreciate if, it, if you'd hit that follow button. There we go. But the decision will always be yours. If you ever want to catch me live, well, there won't be any stream this Tuesday, actually. I'm off at an orchestra thing. So we will be returning to this game on Thursday as we continue our journey into the world of Tears of the Kingdom. But until then, if you ever missed any of these streams, if you want to catch up with any of our journey into this game so far or any of the other ones we've played, Including the previous game, Breath of the Wild, to 100% on Master Mode with all the DLC. Six months that took us. That was our biggest journey to date. Have a good night, Ezio. Fair enough. Cheers, King. Thanks for stopping by, and you have a good one. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, the Breath of the Wild. You can find all these uploaded to the YouTube archive linked in the panels down below, containing playlists of every game, every journey, as I call them, that we've ever been on here on this channel. And I think that's everything. Everything apart from a thank you to each and every one of you. Be you a chatter, be you a lurker, be you watching live here on Twitch or in the YouTube archives. Thank you very much for joining me as we've journeyed into the world of this amazing game. And most of all, thank you for spending a little bit of your life here with me on the channel. It means the world to me. Always will do. And it always does. Now, I'm pretty sure the viewers should pretty low considering that a lot of people are avoiding this game, but we might as well see where we are. No, fair enough. So, with that said and done, to each and every one of you, you, may you all have a beautiful evening, morning, or afternoon, wherever it is around this whole wide world you are. And as always, until our paths next cross again, the Vortex awaits. 
and I'll see you all next time.